Solo escucha. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our webinar on advanced energy reporting. Uh, we're just going to wait one or two minutes more for a few people to join us. So before we start, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Mio. I'm one of the account executives here at Dexma. Uh, I'm joined today by Alfonso. Alfonso is, is one of our uh, tech support team members and is our brand new product director for Dexma. Hello, everyone. So uh, let's get started. Okay, our agenda today will be firstly a couple of minutes from me to introduce Dexma if you're not one of our partners, if you're new to us, hopefully this will give you a good overview of who we are and what we do. Uh, then I'm going to move over to what we mean by good reporting, what we think is, is important to show to your stakeholders and to your customers. Uh, and then I'll pass over to Alfonso, who will be showing you a live demo of our brand new custom reports feature uh, that will be part of our advanced energy reporting suite. Following this, we'll do some Q&A. And of course, as usual, you can type in your questions into the box on the screen that you have with the GoToWebinar app. We'll be monitoring that throughout the webinar and then answering the popular questions at the end. If we don't get to your question, don't worry. Feel free to send us an email. Uh, you've got our email addresses up on the screen and they'll be there at the end as well. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, um, we need to uh, introduce Dexma and see um, how we can help you guys reduce your energy costs and improve your energy efficiency. So Dexma, we have a partner network of over 250 partners now in over 40 countries. Um, we have a number, one second, I think we've got a bit of a technical glitch here. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go back to where we were. So we have 250 partners, over 40 countries, and we're growing that network all the time. Uh, we have partners um, mainly in Europe, and so we've got a couple of them shown here, but of course with 250 we couldn't show you them all. Uh, but we'd love to grow that partner network, and that's one of the reasons we're doing this webinar today, is to show you the kind of development that we do uh, that's in response to the feedback we've had from our current partner database. Uh, the way that we work is that we sell our software to our partner network and these partners might be energy services companies, energy management companies, possibly OEMs and utilities. And these companies will then use our software to provide services to their end customers. And we'll show you a couple of verticals uh, later on about where we work. So um, we think we're really fantastic, but we thought we might just share with you as well a couple of third party research companies who are also saying some really great stuff about us. Of course, we're always looking for feedback on our pricing, on our features, on how we work as a company. So always feel free to give that feedback back to us. And what we wanted to show you here was what we call our Dexma trifecta. The Dexma trifecta underpins all of the development, the R&D, and what you see in Dexel today. What we have here is our detect plus analyze plus control methodologies. Of course, most of you would be familiar with Dexel. This is our energy management platform. It's our core product, and it's what you'll see today in Alfonso's um, showings. But we also have our newer product called Energy Grader, which is directed at the detect part of the equation. Energy Grader is a virtual energy audit tool that's intended to be frictionless and use utility bills to benchmark and provide recommendations for energy efficiency projects and buildings. This is intended as a first step. It might be a marketing tool or a pre-sales pre tool. 
And then in those buildings that are identified by Energy Greater as, as needing some work, that's where Dexcel comes in to do the analyze part of the equation. Dexcel, of course, is what we've been focusing on for the past 10 years, so it's a very mature product. And we're also doing quite a lot of research and development to develop our control methodologies as well. So if you'd like some more information about those projects, we'd be happy to provide them, or you can go onto our website and look at our innovation sorry, webpage. So uh, why would you choose Dexma over our competitors and other companies uh, in the market doing a similar thing? Well, we do quite a lot of the things that all the other softwares that are aimed at energy management do. We do dashboards, we do reports, we're fully web-based, hardware agnostic, and so forth. But what sets us apart, we believe, is all the other things on top of that. So, for example, we're great at hardware integration. Uh, we've got a lot of hardware options for you that you can use in concert with Dexcel. Uh, we have a lot of advanced features, so you're seeing just one of them today, that's our custom reports, but as you can see on the screen, we've got a lot more here, and of course, if you used Excel, you'll know that there's lots more than what's listed here as well. Uh, we're really fast for a web-based platform. We find that just about everyone who sees Dexcel is super excited about how fast we can present our data. And we, we really look towards reliability and scalability. A lot of our internal development is aimed at making Dexcel scalable for our really large customers that might have hundreds or thousands of buildings. Um, and we're working towards that more and more all the time to try and improve that user experience. To finish off on this section, I just wanted to show you a couple of verticals that we're working in. We have thousands of, of end customers, so of course we couldn't show them all, but I wanted to show you the range of our capabilities from public administration to food and hospitality to retail and so forth. Uh, we've got a lot of different customers doing a lot of different things with Dexcel and all of our partners are helping them to achieve those energy and water savings. That's the key goal. Okay, so now we're going to move on to what good reporting means, and this will lead in then to Alfonso's um, examples. So, what makes a great energy report? Well, firstly, it has to be understandable. It has to be aimed at the right people, and it has to explain your point clearly. Um, obviously, it depends on your audience. If you're speaking to a CFO or someone else in the financial sector, you'll need to be able to show cost metrics and probably at a fairly high level. Of course, if you're speaking to technicians or engineers on the ground, they would probably not care so much about the, the dollars and the euros and the pounds. They'll care more about whether their, their equipment is up, about whether it's consuming the right amount of energy and water and so forth. Um, you need to make it eye-catching and, and easily readable. You need something that's going to look professional, but it's also going to be simple and easy to understand. You need to also stay to the point and stay focused on what you need. Oftentimes, when you're doing reporting for your stakeholders or for your customers, they're really busy. They may only have five or ten minutes to look at your reports every week or every month. And so you need to really have a couple of key points that you need to bring across in a succinct way and also with graphs that support um, your evidence and, and provide a good way of showing all of the things you need to show. You need to focus on your target needs. So as I said before, you need to adapt to your specific audience and perhaps have different report templates for different stakeholders in your projects. But what doesn't do this? What, what would, could you be using that might be actually hindering what you're doing? So, for example, huge Excel files are not useful to a CEO or other C-level um, executive who's looking to find information quickly and understand things very quickly. Huge Excel files have a lot of data that perhaps technicians would be interested in, but other than that, they could be used as supporting evidence, but not as a report in and of itself. Copy and pasted Word files, for example, are also prone to mistakes. It's easy to forget to paste the correct numbers, especially if it's a, a person doing the copying from one screen to the next. So we'd like to avoid that too. 
Lastly, business intelligence, software and other tools like that are great at what they do, but what they don't do well is energy reporting and water reporting, and that's something that we're about to show you now. Okay, so how can we move to advanced energy reporting? Well, now this is where Alfonso comes in and he'll be able to show you exactly how with Dexcel. Great, Mia. So, well, we will take a look on the new advanced energy reporting with Dexcel Energy Manager. Um, you may know that uh, we have our custom reports uh, feature, but uh, what we've uh, done with this uh, new plant energy reporting is uh, improving uh, all the possibilities that custom reports uh, allows you to create and to design, and also, but also, um, like Mio said, to, to enable you to create it once and, and automatically update it with the new data so that you don't uh, make mistakes with your reports and you can also create whatever you want. So let's start. What advanced energy reporting in Dex Energy Manager means? Uh, we've ha we have uh, totally redesigned our custom reports feature, allowing you to create more powerful, elaborate reports um, that are really, you will see something that you can create really beautiful and eye catching reports. Okay. And more important also. Uh, that the design is that you will be able to treat the data the way you want to emphasize, put the emphasis wherever you want in the report. And uh, well, by style, uh, styles uh, also, you will be able to report, uh, to create reports matching your company styles, your terms of branding and design, etc. And also a cool feature that is that you will be able to uh, export those uh, reports both to Excel and CSV. I think Mio that the key here is uh, save your time. Absolutely. I mean uh, what we are, are trying in Dexma is uh, to help you to save your time to be more efficient okay and in this case you will see uh, how you can create uh, a report doing it once and then we'll send it for you from now on. So you will save time every week from now. And it's so. not just your time, it's your customer's time as well, exactly. right? So they see exactly what they need to see every week, every month. So, well, I want to show you some parts of uh, this, uh, some of the features that this uh, advanced uh, report includes, creating a custom layout, uh, well, just when configuring a, a report, you can add all the graphs and tables from Dexcel Energy Manager, but you can now also define uh, its size, uh, the position into a grid. You can also define uh, some areas to add text, maybe above, below, or next to other blocks. So you, you, you are free to decide where the information is uh, is put in the in the report, and uh, put the emphasis when uh, where you want. Okay, so well, and of course, all the graphs and tables. In, you create, uh, let's say, a weekly report. Uh, that report will be regenerated its time automatically with the uh, last week data. So it is something that you do it once and. We recalculate it, regenerate it for you. Import from office. Um, it is very important, we think, that uh, you don't have to uh, redo uh, and to... Um, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Reinvent the wheel, exactly. You have, you already have your, your existing reports. They are probably in, in Word or you have information in Excel. So what we want you is to reuse all, all that content so that you can speed up your report creation process. So easily add uh, those content by copying and pasting. You will see this. Also, these styles and this strange word that means what you see is what you get. What you see is what you get means that uh, you are really seeing how the report will look like. 
really from the beginning of the designing process, when you are creating your report, you decide how it will look like once uh, you send it to your customer. So um, you will be able to create this uh, beautiful, powerful, eye-catching reports um, from the beginning of the design process, matching your company styles. It is really, really interesting to see um, rich text capabilities, but also tables, images, links, emojis, uh, lots of, of cool, cool uh, design tools uh, for you to, to design your perfect report because uh, we want you to, to do it really um, in the final version uh, to the customer. So you can really send it directly to, to them. And also we talk that you can paste from Word to our reports, but also you can export our reports, not only to uh, PDF or HTML, but also in Excel files with all its graphs attached, and they are really uh, ready to, to be uh, analyzed with Excel, okay? And also in CSV format, for example, and it is really interesting if you want, for example, to share those uh, reports in CSV with automated systems that can capture those CSV files and, and integrate in, in other uh, processes. So that's really good if you have customers who are very technical, they want to see the data that's behind your reporting. For sure. So that is, um, well, share this information and, and be able to, to create more uh, with Office that is, of, of course, also one of your use, useful tools. And well, I think that, well, the most interesting here is to see it. So we will go to the, to the light demo. I will try to show you all of these cool things in, uh, by creating a, a custom advanced energy report, <laughs> okay? So let me go into Dexel. Here we have our corporate uh, buildings uh, demo. So, well, for those who know Dexel, uh, you know that here you have this uh, reports area and we will be able to create a template to then create a new report, okay? And finally, we will customize it uh, with all uh, these uh, cool features that uh, we talked before. So uh, let's start with uh, by creating this this report because all of this is regarding putting information, useful information into your uh, your uh, reports. We will create a, a report, a weekly report with uh, energy information regarding our Europe and USA uh, areas. So I will play with the main uh, loads of these uh, buildings, different buildings, okay? And what we will do is, uh, at the moment, we will show uh, these uh, graphs, and let's start with the report. Every uh, screen, every graph that you can see into this consumption screen, for example, and also others, um, can be uh, shared with a report. If you click in Add to Report, then you can put a name to this block that in this case will be last seven days consumption, okay? Once you do this, you can decide which is the interval you want to report. Uh, I will uh, put this last seven days and I can add this to a new, uh, to an existing uh, template but in this case, I will create a new one that will be USA and oh, sorry, USA and Europe. Okay. Then this, I I've created a template. Okay. The new template has been created, and now I will put more context inside. So I will also add this table with uh, all the the values. So this is will be like the uh, leak table, okay? Because we can also uh, um, sort it, order it by uh, different uh, by the different columns. So we will 
put the interval to last seven days again. Compare, we can compare the data with the previous uh, week or the same period last year. I will decide for previous period, okay? And I want to order it by total consumption so that the, the one that consumes more will be on top of the table. And in this case, I don't want to create a new report template, so I will choose the one I have just created. Okay, this is how a custom report uh, is, uh, is created. We can continue aggregating some useful data, like, uh, for example, these stack bars to see the aggregated consumption of all the, all the buildings, to see the, 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 the whole uh, value of the consumption uh, in the graph. So I will add this one also. And it is the aggregated, aggregated consumption, okay, in Europe. So, well, I think you catch the idea. So I will go to, to another screen, um, maybe cost one, just to create an, another type of, of, of graph. Uh, maybe a monthly, uh, year to date, something like this, okay? So we can see the cost of one of our buildings and also put it in the, in the report. And this will be year to day cost in Madrid. Sorry, in Madrid. And well, I think it's enough. Uh, we will show you now how we can uh, create this really cool uh, graphs from here. Sorry, I said so far this year is what I want. And so, also the great thing about this is you're using the free demo, right? So anyone who yes. even our customers or even if you're not a customer yet, you can go onto our website, log into the free demo and create exactly what you've done here. They can replicate it. Yes, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So feel free. And well, um, what what have we done? Uh, what, what we have done is creating a template. We don't have a report yet. So this is our template. We can see how it looks like. We have here all the graphs we've shared with the report. Okay. And now we are going to create a report. So let's go, uh, sorry. Let's go to create new report. I will choose not one of the existing templates that we share with you, but my own template. And I will create this report in a weekly basis, as, as we said. So last seven days in English, our Dexma logo, but you can put yourself, uh, your logo, I mean, uh, share it with all the users that you think uh, will be uh, seeing it. And I will click on this two ticks that is, I want to share the information, the raw data that are creating all the tables and all the graphs will be shared uh, to those Excel and CSV files. Okay, we can send it by email. So, and I will also put this to be periodically uh, created weekly, uh, every Monday, but at six to wait those readings that arrive late to, to arrive to really be available to create when, when, when we triggered the, the report. And just for you to see, I will start creating it since the 3rd of September and just save it. Okay, once this is done, we will see the base of every custom reports that you uh, have already seen, that is all the graphs. So what is, what, what, are, what are the changes you, you, may, you may ask? Is now when we can start playing with our uh, templates. So let's start to playing with our templates. And for that, I will show you uh, 
what I have in my in my desktop, like all of you, as we said before, you have already lots of reports. So what I will do is just try to replicate one report, okay, that you may have created before. So let's start by uh, putting this uh, information into the. Uh, Let's say, for example, this kind of, uh, uh, sorry, this uh, hierarchy levels, all this info can be uh, put into the, into the report. So let's copy, okay? And now I will add a rich, fully rich text capabilities block where you can also paste, okay, keeping the, format, you can uh, define uh, new uh, colors, you can change the sizes, uh, the position, whatever you may uh, need. I will, for example, put this in another size, let's say all in both sides, but I like to change this color. So whatever you think you want to create, it is possible because, uh, as you see, we have all these useful tools to create. I didn't want this color. I was looking for this one. I like this one. Okay. So once you have this uh, created, you can, of course, try to put it the design whatever you want. So let's continue. Well, as you see, maybe some of this. Uh, well, I will. Sorry, I will uh, change this um, this style. I will clear the formatting because it has not uh, respected what I was uh, I was expecting. So just try to create your own style. And let's say that um, you have to do this work but you have to do this work once. So think that once you have the, the, the perfect report for your, for your customer, this will be always forever uh, automatically uh, created. So it is really, really cool feature. And it's not just a one-off Alfonso. If you do want to make changes at some point, if the customers come back to you and said, hey, I want to see something else, you can always go back in and change the template. For sure. Yeah. In, in fact, well, uh, I will put this block at the top. So, I'm sorry, I left it before. I will put it here. And now, what I will have to do, third time is <laughs> the good one, you know? Working with a new mouse is always difficult. So, yeah, it yeah, is the live, live demo effect. <laughs> So we will show all the information. And as you can see, there is here's also something beautiful that you can do that is resizing all your content to put all the graphs uh, on, on, on the right of, of, of the text, for example. I will respect my actual uh, format by now. And well, this is cool but this hierarchy could be improved and so i will uh i will use uh dexo because i know i have here a really cool graph where i can see my hierarchy let's see here and then well this is really cool i will Copy it with my copying tool and just put it again into my report by editing template. So as you see, it is something that you can um, you can edit as many times as you want and really define uh, what you are looking for, not what Dexma wants you to show. No, I want to do another thing. I want to put this in 600 pixels or 650 or whatever you may want. 
it is uh, really, really easy to, to show uh, and to create your, your, your uh, reports. Um, another cool feature that is, um, well, I want here to put some extra information that my customer uh, sent me last week. That is the uh, building, sorry, I wanted to paste in the format. Oh, I will put it again. So uh, I want to paste those uh, that table that my customer sent me uh, last week with the uh, building information. So I can go into uh, my Excel, not only uh, not only Word but Excel also. So I can catch the info that you have in terms maybe it's cost information maybe it's like in this case uh, some uh, addresses and, and square meter surfaces so well as you see it is the idea is that you can reuse all your all your content so you can really define what you want but also reuse what you have already created so that we don't want you to, to start by zero, uh, from zero again. So this is the idea of our new uh, advanced uh, energy reporting that is uh, that you are really free to show whatever uh, you want. Just let's show this info again. And this is ready, a bit space and it is ready to update. Let's see how it looks like. I will just update my report. Okay, so you can even regenerate reports that yes, you've, you've, sure. you've, you've edited the template now and you can just go back and send that new version of the report if there's someone new at the company or something that might wanna see that. And yeah, and two weeks from now, maybe a new content is uh, is available, and you want uh, to share it with your customers. So uh, for sure, you can. Well, I, I will add here a space just to 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 see it uh, properly. But as you see, you can really create beautiful and powerful because think again. Uh, don't don't miss that this. Uh, graphs, this report will be triggered weekly at 6 in the morning. So every morning when your customer arrives at, eight at, at, the, uh, at his office, uh, we'll have the report ready to uh, read. So, well, I think it's really, really cool feature. Um, let's do just another thing that is um, adding uh, Precising some some graphs, I will put here also a space because this has to start uh, below, and I will also put some side text uh, at, at the right of this graph. I want to put some information because I want I like to do that, in, and I did it in the past with this. Um, uh, aggregated consumption in Europe, so I want to add some information regarding what what is this consumption related? Uh, it is IT, HBS, HVAC, or whatever. So I will paste also in a new content block, and again I will put the format I like. Don't put 18 size and my preferred color. And I will also resize this table because I want to fit uh, in that half a page uh, space. And as you see, I can resize it and now put it in the space I have left here. So I will. Put this a bit maybe here and this a bit bigger. Okay, so I think you have that idea. Uh, Mio, uh, what do you think about this? Uh, you can create really whatever you, you need 
And ah, sorry, one more thing, one more thing that I think. There are many things also. Yeah, one more thing that uh, I like to to use a lot because it is the ability to to share your 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 image, your your website, for example. Um, I will put here in this uh, in, in in this uh, report. Maybe this could be the the, the portrait, the, mm -hmm. the first page. So I will add. Uh, a link to textbrand.com in this case, but you can share your uh, your website right from the PDF that we will uh, send to our customers. So really, really uh, interesting to be able to do this kind of, uh, of things. I think that uh, you will love as much as we love this new feature. And whoa. This is how uh, new reports look like, but what if I had a little more time? If I had a little more time, I will be able to create something like this. That is really, really uh, cool uh, report. If only we had more time for the webinar. Yes, but uh, <laughs> well, uh, we can do it. <laughs> look at this, uh, you can really, perform that cool analysis with your pie charts, with all your costs, your uh, comparison charts, MMV projects, wherever you may need, and automatically sent every week, every month. I want it on Tuesday, I want at six o'clock, wherever you need to, to send it, and it is really, really cool, uh, and we hope you love it. And well, that's more or less what I wanted to show you. Uh, just I will um, show you one more thing. The last one that is, what about, you, you told me, uh, what about Excel and CSV? So we have always been uh, creating HTML um, and also um, uh, PDF reports, but now, you will be able also to share the raw data. Well, the raw data, in fact, it's not only raw data because it is all the data that creates these beautiful graphs. So you can really use the old, all graphs are in separate tabs. So all the information you have on that PDF is also useful for you to use in other analysis that you may need. And why not in also in CSV files? So really, really cool, I think. Uh, all the CSVs are in, in a zip file. So just to say, um, we hope you, you love it. Uh, we are pretty sure you will use it a lot. And well, just to do a, a small recap, on what we have uh, seen, uh, let me show you uh, again the, the slides. So, we've seen lots of things, okay? Let me check. So, we've seen lots of things. I want to do a small recap here. Well, I'm so sorry. We've seen how to create a custom layout. I want to put my graphs. I want to put my tables, MMV uh, projects, uh, resize them, uh, put it in the correct place into the reports grid, uh, and feel, feel free to, to, to show what we want to show in my company. Okay, then copy from Word, copy from Excel. We can reduce all the content that uh, is already in our desktops. We can export to Excel, we can export to CSV, and styles. And what you see is what you get. But what I think it's really, really relevant here, again, sorry, I, I've said it three times, but the most important is do it once, We'll send it for you from now on, okay? And so that you can save your time, save your time, be more, be more efficient. That it's what what we are trying to help you. 
And well, um, it's what we wanted to show you just before going into our uh, questions. If you want to uh, to put your questions, you have your control panel at the right. Please write all your questions here, and we will have some time to show you uh, to answer uh, them. But let me just a moment go to uh, also to our uh, website because we want to share with you a good news that is that our DexMap Partner Day is coming. So, uh, well, as yeah, yeah, so maybe I can tell you guys a little bit more about this. So as our partners have been with us for a long time know, every year we like to hold some events just for our partners to show you what we've done this year, where we're going this year, and to show you how your feedback has fed back into our development. Um, so we're going to kick this off on the 23rd of October, so it's next month, uh, with our English Online Partners Day. So that'll be me, that'll be Joanne, our CEO, Alfonso will be there. A lot of the members of our team will be speaking about what they've done this year and what they're going to be doing later on as well. Um, and then for anyone who's attending, who's going to the, who's, sorry, who's here in Spain, we've also got an offline event, so an in-person event uh, in Madrid on the 25th of October, and then again here in Barcelona on the 30th of October. Those two events will be in Spanish, as will uh, the 6th of November online event for those of our partners who can't attend those those offline in-person events as well. So um, have a look at our website, sign up for those. Of course, we'll be recording the webinars as usual and making them available to our partners as one of the, the, the valuable add-ons that we like to give to our partners. Um, and, and hopefully you'll be able to join us. Okay, Afonso, shall we move back to the yeah, slides? Well, and... um, we have Here's some some questions. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, Looks like we've maybe got one um, that says uh, we've heard that you have some advanced analytics feature that's going to be released soon. Will the custom reports feature you just showed us interact? Uh, with the yes. Event? In fact, uh, we haven't shown this. Uh, Feature it will be released uh, uh, to the, uh, in the partners uh, event, uh, but all the graphs in advanced analytics uh, will be able to to well uh, will be shared also with uh, with custom reports. Yes, um, we have also questions. What if we have more than one site? I have lots of sites that I want to create a report. Uh, all the templates um, are not uh, related to to a location, so I can create a template and then use it to create different reports from different locations, change the devices uh, that are in the report, put new ones, so they are flexible to be used in different in different reports also, okay? And you can share the templates with users as well? Yeah, in fact, uh, when, when, you, when you create a, a report, uh, you can, uh, Share it with all the users uh, that, that, that you want in, in the in the account. Okay, so um, also they are asking uh, regarding Excel. Um, they say, what about the graphs in Excel? Okay, uh, well, in fact, all the as you have seen, all the graphs in Excel are related to the to to the data inside the file. I mean, if you change. Uh, the data that we have shared with you in the report, the, the graphs are linked, so they will be updated also. And it is uh, really useful to, to, to perform new, new analysis, okay? Looks like we have another question here in regards to what if I start triggering these reports every week or every month? Um, am I able to add a couple of comments in just to say maybe this week I implemented this HVAC project or something like that? Okay. Um, well, uh, we know that it is something that uh, some of you are waiting for. Um, it, uh, we are working in a really cool uh, feature that is uh, making comments. Um, you will be able uh, to add 
uh, comments on those reports that have already been created, uh, barely in, in the PDF, for example, or from the HTML to export. And you will be able, I don't know, to put some text bubbles, to add uh, text, or to uh, emphasize by putting some some uh, uh, remarking the zone of the graph where the um, uh, what, 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 that you want to, to to show to your customer. Maybe there is an inefficiency or something like that. So, but it is something that it is not uh, uh, ready. Okay and we are working on it uh, for the future. Okay, so just like a lot of the other things that we have in our roadmap, that sounds great. Um, okay, I think those were most More of our questions, questions so far so. Uh, I think we've answered most of the main ones. Um, I know that you've got to prepare for our Spanish webinar in a few minutes as well. And if you have uh, more questions, uh, we, will, we will receive them so we can also answer yeah. you uh, later. Absolutely. Feel free to add any more questions here to the GoToWebinar. Feel free to email either Alfonso and I as well. You've got our email addresses on the screen again. And of course, if you want to try this out for yourself, go onto our website, try the free demo. If you're a partner already, you can go onto your own accounts and try out uh, custom reports for yourselves. Um, and of course, our tech support team is always there to help you as well. Yep, for sure. So, well, uh, we hope uh, you liked it. And if you have any question, uh, just uh, send it to us. And that's it. Uh, it was a good time. Thank you, Mio. Thank you, Alfonso. Uh, and we'll hopefully be speaking to everyone again soon. Thank okay. you. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.